Life expectancy in the U.S. declined more in 2020 and 2021 than any other two-year period following World War II. And I'm going to make the argument COVID is more dangerous now than it even was then. Ironically, this is because SARS-CoV-2 does not only infect humans, and I'm not talking about cats, dogs, deer, bats, and ferrets. I am talking about COVID infecting bacteria. Your bacteria. Why should we care about bacteria, you might ask? And it's because you're more bacteria than you are human. And don't you call me bacteria. You are a bacterial dating app with a side gig as a human-shaped meat envelope. The health of your human parts is determined by how well those bacterial hookups go. For four years, I have been saying, Ooh, I have been saying that COVID wrecks your microbiome. And if your biome was wrecked before COVID, COVID will make it worse. Trim your beard. And oh look, COVID is a bacteriophage. That word literally means bacteria eater. It eats bacteria and the only crumbs it leaves are chronic illness and more COVID. Ew, 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 ew. Like a self-learning AI version of an antibiotic that someone keeps forcing you to take over and over. We know the more antibiotics you take before COVID, the worse you're likely to be after COVID. We know if you have to be hospitalized because of COVID and you get antibiotics, you have a higher chance of dying from sepsis. It's true, we are not losing as many lives now from acute infection. There are treatments now that can save your life, sometimes at great cost. Millions of people are facing permanent disability, and some of my patients have even confided to me they wish they had died instead of suffering for years. I want to die! But there is a silver lining. Two of them, actually. One is that chronic illness is getting so much more research now. Most of it is validating what I have been saying for four years, what my predecessors have been saying for 2,000 years. The other is that you can gauge the health of your biome at home in literally seconds. And no waiting for part two, I will teach you how right now. Pause this video, bookmark it or save it for later. Go look in the mirror and stick out your tongue. If it looks like this, you're doing okay. If it looks like this or this, consider doing something about that. And if you have friends with thick tongue coatings who are always talking about their tummy troubles, consider sending them this video.